Hi, my name is Cody. Congratulations on your hover map rental and thanks for choosing Candrone. Now that you've received your shipment, please go ahead and check the rental checklist and verify that all the contents made it safely. If there are any discrepancies, please get in touch with us as soon as possible. Let's take a quick minute to go over everything that should arrive inside the case. You'll have your hover map HF1 unit, a 120 volt wall plug, which connects to an AC adapter with an XT60 connector. You'll have your USB storage drive, as well as the USB Sentinel key for processing, a TB47 to XT60 adapter cable, a 12 volt car auxiliary to XT60 adapter cable, a handheld grip, two cables for an XT60 to two pin limo connection, as well as a GoPro Hero 8 black. To mount your handheld grip, hold your hover map securely in one arm and take the grip and slide it into the quick release docking system. Make sure you get a good click and tug on it to make sure it's secure in there. Now that we've verified everything has arrived safely, let's go ahead and power up the unit to test it. Plug your two pin TB47S adapter into your TB47S battery. Then take the XT60 end and plug it into your XT60 to two pin limo adapter. Next, we want to plug the two pin limo into the back of the hover map unit. Be sure to line up the red dot on the connector to the red dot on the port. Now you can go ahead and power on your battery. It's a single click followed by a click with the hold. Once the battery is on, you can power up the hover mat. The status LED will flash red, orange, and light blue. This is just showing that it's going through its initialization checks. Once the checks have been completed, you'll see the status LED switch to a slow dark blue pulse. This notifies that you're now ready to connect to Wi-Fi. Now that we've powered up the device and it's gone through its initialization checks, we're ready to connect to the hover map UI. Simply navigate to your phone's Wi-Fi connection and select the hover map Wi-Fi network. It'll be indicated by an HVM 100 followed by a string of numbers. Once you've connected, open up your browser and navigate to hover.map. This will bring up the overview of your hover map system and allow you to change the scan name as well as manage the transferred files and go through the USB lock. We'll leave ours set to demo. And when you're ready to begin scanning, just tap start. If your project requires an RGB point cloud, simply attach the included GoPro to the quick release mount on the bottom of the hover map. Now that we're powered up, we're ready to start scanning. Go ahead and tap start on your hover map UI and hit the record button on your GoPro. Once it's powered on and started recording, you're gonna to wanna to do a few calibration motions. So you'll do an upward sweep twice as well as a side-to-side -side sweep. This helps sync the GoPro gyro along with the hover map. We're ready to start scanning.